What are those cycling glasses? Mm -hmm. Is one of the most common questions I get asked on random videos about entirely different subjects. So I made this video to answer the question. Hi, I'm Monty and this is Sporty Cyclist. I make videos about road cycling, bike tech, and ultra tight lycra and now it seems about prescription cycling glasses so what are those glasses and where did you get them these are the ipod hawks ipod hawk sunglasses these are ipod hawk sports glasses and i bought them at a booth at the cycle show in birmingham way back in 2019 but don't worry you don't have to go to a bike show in the olden days in order to buy yourself a pair they have a website the attraction of these glasses over other prescription sports glasses i've considered the cost I haven't done extensive amounts of research, but it's fairly safe to say that these are a lot cheaper than Oakley's. So how do they work? This is probably the bit that makes them cheaper. They are a two part design. At the back, we have these prescription inserts that are made to your precise eye prescription. And then at the front, we have these lenses and these lenses are interchangeable. The iPod Hawk is supplied with five different lenses, each one suited to different light conditions. And the iPod Hawks are intended not just for cycling, so you can remove the arms like this, and he says, carefully, and attach an elasticated headband in order to keep them more firmly attached to your heed. I tried the elasticated head strap when I first bought them, but I found it too uncomfortable, too tight, and it sprunged off, which I suppose defeats the whole purpose of it. To be honest, as a cyclist, I have no need for these things to be strapped to my head. I think the strap is supplied because the iPod Hawks are marketed for other sports in addition to cycling, such as clay pigeon shooting, if that's a sport. But because I don't use them for anything other than cycling, I cannot comment on their efficacy in use for said other sports. Turning to the prescription inserts, mine are single vision. You can also buy bifocal and varifocal versions. I don't know much about varifocals or bifocals, but I was amused on the website to see them referred to as a Garmin reading pain. Presumably, it will work just as well when trying to read Wahoo and other bike computers. Variations are available in terms of slimmer and lighter prescription inserts or at additional cost but I just went with the box standard ones. Not once have I wished that I went with the slimmer lighter options but perhaps that's because my prescription isn't very strong. You can also pay extra in order to have an anti-fog treatment applied but the design of the glasses means that they don't fog up anyway more on that in a minute. Whilst we're talking prescriptions, I have a slightly odd one. One of my eyes is long-sighted, the other is short-sighted. The makers of the iPod Hawks had absolutely no problem supplying a pair of glasses that worked for my gammy eyes. I mentioned the visor type things that form the front of the glasses and are the main element you can see. The iPod Hawks are supplied with five hard-coated interchangeable lenses. If we run through them, these are the Revo mirrored lenses. These are for bright, sunny conditions. And no, I have no idea what Revo means either. And moving on, we've got these, which are the polarized lenses. These are intended for reducing glare because apparently they block out horizontal light. Who knew? Then we have these aqua, aqua? Then we have these aqua blue lenses. These are for medium and low light conditions. Next, the yellow lens. These are for hazy and foggy conditions. Finally, we have these clear lenses here, which just offer protection from the wind and rain. In terms of which lenses I use most frequently in the summer when it's sunny and bright, I mainly use these ones. When it's a bit overcast, I tend to use the aqua blue ones. And then in the winter, when it's just about protecting my eyes from the rain, then it's the clear ones. Now, the important thing to be aware of when compared to more expensive single lens prescription sunglasses is that you can see the prescription inserts behind the visors on the front. It's very obvious on the blue ones like this. I think you can even see them when you have on the polarized ones here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's very obviously the case that you can see the prescription inserts. The mirrored ones do the best 
job of hiding the inserts. Normally on a sunny day when they're reflective, you can't see the inserts. You could probably just about see them through the lens of the camera right now. But otherwise, these are the most subtle in terms of hiding the prescription inserts. Whether you can live with others being able to see the prescription inserts comes down to personal preference. They do look a bit odd, but I don't mind it personally. I don't look like a velo god atop my two-wheeled cycling steed at the best of times. A set of clunky cycling specs makes little or no difference. The advantage, of course, of the iPod Hawks is that you effectively get five sets of cycling glasses for the price of one. And that one price is less than what you'd pay for premium single skin prescription cycling glasses, which is probably not what velopticians call them. Turning to build quality and longevity, I've owned these glasses for the best part of two years. I've worn them a lot, including riding with them through two winters. The British weather is extremely changeable, so I've had to change the outer lenses for virtually every ride. Despite Despite. Despite the somewhat plasticky appearance, I've seen no deterioration. The lens cover removal and fitting process, which I'm demonstrating here, feels like it's the sort of thing that would cause quite a bit of damage over time, but I can confirm that this has not been the case. All five lenses click positively into place. I don't notice any rattling around. And just generally, the glasses have stood up well to regular use and abuse. In fact, the only real damage is that the carry case for the glasses and the lenses has lost its zipper tag and is now a pain to close and open. Finally, under build quality, I mentioned already that the elasticated strap was pretty rubbish. I've since lost it, I think we can file that under poor. So now time for the most important thing, what do they look like? Let's put them on. I've already mentioned that the prescription inserts are pretty visible under most configurations. I've also alluded to the heavy reliance on plastic. I'd be lying if I didn't say they looked a bit on the cheap side. Now how sunglasses look depend a little, or rather a lot, on the size and shape of the wearer's heed. I do wonder whether the iPod Hawks project a little bit further forward than a standard pair of sports sunglasses. I do think that the dimensions, or rather the proportions, look quite good when worn with a cycling helmet. If you have a tendency towards looking like a mushroom when there's a helmet on your bunks, then I think the iPod Hawks help the overall look. Worn without a cycling helmet, they do perhaps look like you've been issued with protective visors after having undergone laser eye surgery. I do occasionally wear these sunglasses when not out on the bike, but then I have no sense of style. Those that care more about their appearance may elect not to. So what do they feel? like to wear. They feel good actually. They're fairly lightweight, which I suppose they are. The arms go comfortably outside the helmet straps. Very important. And I tend to tuck the ends underneath the tightening strap, as no one calls it, of my helmet, and they sit there quite nicely and securely. I guess the mark of a comfortable set of cycling sunglasses is that you quickly forget that they're there, and in that regard, the iPod Hawk perform admirably. And talking of performance, these outer lenses provide plenty of coverage in terms of protecting you from the light. In bright conditions, it doesn't feel as if any comes round the edges, which may or may not be a thing. They provide plenty of protection in the wet as well. The combination of your helmet lip overhanging and the wide coverage of the lenses means that the rain doesn't spray into your eyes, nor does it drip down into them. I mentioned towards the start of this video that these cycling glasses don't tend to fog up, which is a major plus in my book. Speculating on the scientific cause of this will probably do neither of us any favours. Something to do with the outer visor, keeping the outer and inner surfaces of the prescription inserts somewhat stable. But ultimately, who cares? The glasses work. I very, very rarely had them fog up on the wettest and coldest of days. There is sometimes the slight annoyance when a small insect or fly manages to find its way between the outer visor and the prescription inserts. It's very difficult just to brush it off or blow it. <sighs> but ultimately it's a very small thing and one I'm prepared to live with. Moving on to value for money, and here I think the iPod Hawks do very well, particularly in their single vision guides. They start 
at £99, which for a set of prescription sunglasses with five different lenses is, I think, very good indeed. Bifocals start at £129 and very focals start at £179. You can select from a variety of slimmer and lighter lenses and also add the anti-fog treatment, which can add anything up to £150 to the overall cost. As mentioned, I've got the bog standard single vision lenses. Given the slightly placky nature and a look that stays just the right side of NAF, I'd be reluctant to add in the extra cost by going for the premium lenses. In conclusion, the iPod Hawks were for me an impulse purchase at a cycling show exhibition type thing, but I've been very pleased with them. I didn't expect them to hold up as well as they have done. They look okay, they're hugely practical. The five interchangeable lenses make them useful in all riding conditions. The fact that they weren't that expensive to begin with means that I don't have to worry about them being lost or damaged on a ride. All in all, recommended. So where can you buy them? If you're watching this from the UK, there's a website I think called sportsglasses.online. I'll include a link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get anything if you click and buy something. I must admit, I don't know where to buy these glasses outside of the UK. There must be US or Australian companies that either own the licenses or do something similar. I'll do some research and leave links in the description below. If you're aware of other companies that sell prescription sites, cycling glasses with a similar design, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video interesting, useful. If you did, then please do remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I've been Monty, this is Sportive Cyclist, the Mammal Channel, and I'll see you in the next video.